listeners, new and old, thank you for tuning in. I'm James Merrill of the Popcorn Ready Podcast, and today's review will be of the movie 21 Bridges. 21 Bridges is a 15-rated crime thriller movie which follows NYPD detective Chadwick Boseman on a citywide manhunt for a pair of cop killers. The director, Brian Kurt, for me, did a really good job of keeping a real good tempo throughout the movie, giving you a real good sense that time is of the essence, as Manhattan is completely locked down for the first time in its history with no exit or entry to the island, including all 21 bridges, where the movie gets its name. The main character, Andre Davis, is played by Chadwick Boseman, better known for his portrayal of Jackie Robinson in 42 and for being the Black Panther in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He delivers a really solid performance showcasing loads of different attributes in the film. You do get to find out about his character Andre as the film goes on, showcasing some of his past and sort of what type of person he is really as a detective. To be fair, he is helped by a very good supporting cast, with notable mentions going to Sienna Miller as Frankie Burns, J.K. Simmons as Captain McKenna, and Stephen James. J.K. Simmons as Captain McKenna really gets out his angry side for this role, which is great for the context of the storyline. And Stephen James, who's playing Michael, I actually really liked him in this. He conveys a lot of emotion and fear with his face and is also the complete opposite to Ray's character, so together they're a good paired combination. The real yin to one's yang, so to speak. And as one of the bad guys supposedly in this, I actually weirdly wanted him to get him away. I sat there and was thinking, please escape, get out of there which I suppose shows he's either believable in his role or is just likeable. On to the storyline. It's not going to win over any new fans to the genre, I don't think. Maybe some first-person perspective shots in some of the chase or action sequences might have been really cool to see and give some of the scenes a little bit more edge. But the storyline is half-decent. The twists are fairly obvious along with some dialogue that at times seems slightly routine and predictable. But at its core, it's still solid throughout. For me, the first 20 minutes of this really sells the rest of the story. Um, It's a real strong opening that has a bit of action, a bit of character development, introduces you to the surroundings and lays out the foundations for what the main character is wanting to do to achieve his goals, with the action sequences keeping you entertained until the end. Two points I do want to kind of highlight is I think Sienna Miller's character Frankie Burns needs a little bit more of a backstory and description or even like a trust building scene with the main star Chadwick to help give her a bit more weight as one of the main characters. This in turn could lead to more shock value when some of the plot twists are uncovered. Lastly, I did like the ending, but I did feel that it might have been a tad rushed. For me, a slower build up might have created a bit more tension Or there could have been a small scene where Chadwick hatches a plan before he does what he does. In conclusion, I did enjoy watching 21 Bridges. As conspiracy and crime thriller movies go, I'd give this a 7 out of 10. Mildly sweet rating. And if you loved this movie, I'd recommend watching 16 Blocks, which features Bruce Willis. Please smash the subscribe button to follow the channel. Thank you.